Hey, Minecrafters, it's Kimmy Say, and I'm back for another episode of Minecraft Skills. Woo! So how's everybody getting going? Hopefully, by this point, you've gotten yourself all enchanted up. That means you have your enchanted sword, you've got your enchanted armor, it's, and you have diamond up. You've done enough mining to do some diamond, to get a full diamond load. Also, you might have picked up a couple of axes and a oh and a, and a regular axe too and and works some magic with your books and your enchanting and now you are ready to go adventuring so today is exploring oceans okay guys so you're ready to go ahead and do some exploring and this time we're going to hit the ocean now me i usually wait till i get some good armor on but you can definitely explore with just regular iron armor certainly not needed but I'm going to show you the gear that I prefer to explore the ocean in that just actually improves my chances of coming back alive and you know what exploring the ocean is really good to get some cool stuff and we're gonna be showing you how to do that so first off gear that I like to have one you got to have a boat two good armor but here's what I look for if you take a look at my helmet I have respiration three now, you can always do potions, but potions is another video. So I like to get Respiration 3, especially if I'm enchanting my armor and enchanting books. It's well worth it. It makes life a whole lot easier. Also, um, I would make sure you get yourself a bow. I went ahead and got an infinity bow. That way I don't run out of arrows because I always run out of arrows. Okay? But infinity's awesome, and Unbreaking's going to keep that thing lasting a long time for you. And did I say boat? There's a boat. Okay, guys, so let's go find some things to explore. Hey, guys, something right off the coast right here is pretty awesome. Okay, so here's a shipwreck, guys. So one of the things you want to be weary about when you go into water is your breathing. Like if you look right there, right above my hunker, I now have a breathing bar. So, for instance, those bubbles will go away. And once you come up above water, they'll come back up. Yeah, it's dark outside, but that's okay. We're in the ocean. And there's our boat. So let's go ahead and check out the shipwreck. So when you're looking at shipwrecks, if you have a full shipwreck, and we got pretty lucky here, we have a full shipwreck, what you're looking to do is you're looking to check for all three chests. Full shipwrecks have three chests. Um, now, if you get half a shipwreck, you might only get one or two chests, depending on which half of the shipwreck spawned in. So let's go ahead and come in here. Now you can use the crouch button to crouch low enough to walk through. And let's see what we got here. Nice. We got ourselves some iron, which is always important, some lapis. We got ourselves some gold ingots, some iron nuggets, I'm saying gold nuggets, iron nuggets, and some emeralds. Very cool. That's usually probably one of the better chests you're going to find in here. But we're not done yet. No siree. If we come back over this way, through this room, there we go. It's gotten a little dark in here. Let me go ahead and, um, sorry. I'm just going to bring up the brightness. Okay, well, that's a little bit better. Let's see what we got in here. Uh oh, we are having breathing issues. So let's go up here. Notice that our bubbles are about to go down. There we go. And so we don't want to we don't want to lose any health because of breathing. Let's go ahead and eat up. Also, when you're adventure, make sure you bring yourself a good amount of food. Alrighty, so let's sweep back in here. What do we find? Look at this. We found a clock. We found books. We found paper. And we found a buried treasure map. This will be exciting. Okay? The clock's really good because it'll tell you when you have what whether it's day or night. Which is honestly a little bit helpful in a mine. Okay, last chest. And the last chest usually has a whole bunch of stuff like rotten flesh, which I don't necessarily need, but pumpkins are great. We'll be able to grow pumpkins now. And look, an unbreaking leather tunic. So if you're brave enough and you see some shipwrecks not too far away, you start exploring early on, you can also find some enchanted armor, which could definitely be useful. Now, one other enchantment that I forgot to mention to you that is super, super, super useful to have on your armor here, let me show it. Let me get to the boat. I'm going to show it to you guys. Okay. Is, look at my boots. They have something called Depth Strider. Depth Strider allows you to move through water as if you were moving through land. Okay, guys. I think it's time to go on an adventure and find a buried treasure map. So, when you loot chests like that, sometimes you find buried treasures. There we go. Now, 
um, when you're looking at one of these maps, okay, what you're looking for is you're looking for the white dot on the map, because usually you're not right on there. Now, if you're right on the map, you'll see a little um, teardrop thing, teardrop shape that shows you where you're pointing. So what we're going to do is we are going to look for this here. Now, if we use our um, our debug screen right here, you'll notice that this will tell you which direction you're facing, whether you're facing south, north, east, or west. Okay. Now, if you look at the map, our dot is off to the west. So that means we want to be facing east when we're going on this map. So for instance, let's go ahead and F3 it. Let's turn, 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 turn. And you, now you'll see you're facing east in the upper left-hand corner now. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the debug screen off and we're going to go east. Okay. Quick stop, guys. Look at that. That is an ocean monument. We're not messing with that today, but that is something that's going to be very cool later on for a different episode. Okay, guys, notice we are now starting to see the map turn colors because now we are actually loading up these chunks. So what happens is as you load up chunks, the map will start coming alive. Now notice there's an island straight ahead. Chances are this island is going to be part of this map. So let's keep going straight. Okay, guys, it's daytime. Almost everything's gone, just a couple creepers. So we're going to start getting ready to start digging for this treasure, okay? So if we take a look at the map, okay, we are so close. So what I like to do is I like to try to get my nose right up on about where the X is. Now, I'll be honest with you, sometimes this is a little bit of trouble, but that's okay. We're going to work through it. Oh, look, we already got a... So we should be pretty close to it. Now, um, I'll be honest with you, finding buried treasure is sometimes a pain in the butt, and you end up having to destroy quite a bit of beach area to find it. So, let's see here. Since we're right here in this little peninsula, I think we have a better chance of finding it fairly quickly. Now, even though it wasn't directly on the X, I'm going to go ahead and dig this whole area out because it's been my experience. Um, it's never exactly where you think it is. So... Sometimes these aren't all that easy. Whoa, I have got a whole bunch of guys over here. Gotta watch out for drowned. Actually, let's not hit him with stake. Let's hit him with the sword. Tell you what, this Smite 5 sword's mighty nice. Well, anyways, I had to dig way down here to find the chest. Some of these, like I said, these buried treasures aren't always right on top of where they should be. But is it worth it? I would say, yes it is. Check it out. So we get some more emeralds. We get a heart of a sea. This is kind of important. We're going to talk about this more. TNT. Definitely pretty awesome stuff here. Gold. Iron, of course. An iron sword if you want it. Some cooked cod. Yeah, always nice, nice to get some more food. And prismarine crystals. We're going to go ahead and grab those because they could be useful later on. Okay. So, that is an example of a buried treasure. Night's a good time to explore because you can see things like this. Look at this down here. See the lid? Now, that is an ocean temple. We're not going to go in there. But, this one right down here that's lit up. Now, there's usually always a drowned zombie beside one. But, this is what we call an ocean ruin. Oh my goodness, this is not good stuff here. Whoa, watch out for tridents. Those things are dangerous. But if you can get him to drop his trident, then you might be able to get a trident weapon. Did I get a trident weapon? No. Did he drop a trident? No. It's worth checking out, though. Notice the rest of these guys are pretty easy once you get rid of the trident. Okay, let's see here. They drop anything? Okay, now this is pretty cool right here. This is a Nautilus shell, guys. We're going to need that with the heart of a sea so that we can do something really cool here in just a little bit. But before that, let's come down here, and here is a, um, a ocean ruin. Now notice there is some cool stuff in there. Like, check that out. Some 
glazed terracotta. Now, these are fun to explore because they always got chests, and they're gonna have some cool things. I'm gonna leave everything else there except for maybe the fishing rod, that's pretty cool. A mending fishing rod. Okay, now, what you just saw is what we call an Elder Guardian enchant that just got me. Oh, and because we are pretty close to a ocean temple, we got guardians coming out. I'm not ready to hit guardians yet, so let's go ahead and find another ruin that's not so close to the temple. Hey guys, there we go. There is another ruin. So let's go ahead and check it out. There's, there's quite a few drowned, but with our smite sword, we can deal with these guys pretty easy. Wow, there are a ton of these guys here. Also, drowned tend to carry some extra things that can be pretty useful, like a, check it out, Nautilus shell. We need about eight of these to do what we want to do. Check it out, they will drop gold and all sorts of things. Let's go ahead and pick up some of that gold. One of the enchantments I put on my sword is called looting. Looting gives you a higher chance of getting stuff from those. So check this out, we actually have one, we actually have four structures here. So, so just beware of your drowned zombies and of your breathing. Again, another good reason for respiration. Okay guys, so let's try this again. So we got rid of the mining fatigue, so if we have to break eight blocks, but aren't these pretty cool? These are, these are ocean ruins. They usually all spawn with the chest. So this one has another buried treasure map, but it's been my experience that it tends to be the same one. So let's see if it is. Yep, same one. So if you're too close, a lot of times you'll get duplicate maps. So we're gonna go ahead and check the rest of these because there are usually, usually chests in each one. At the same time, you wanna be pretty, there we go. Ooh, another fishing rod, but I think we're good. We already got one mending. Let's go ahead and get some air. Guys, after some exploring, if you're lucky, you can stumble on a warm ocean biome. And I think we found it. Look at this, guys. Look at how the under part is all lit up. And we have now found coral. I'm going to tell you why this is important here in just a minute. So guys, here we go. We have a warm ocean biome. So why is this pretty cool? Well, this is neat because you get to see a few other things that can really be awesome in your builds. First off, coral blocks. Now, coral blocks aren't going to help us with our heart of the sea or anything like that, but they're useful in many, many different ways. One, decorating. You can get coral blocks by using a silk touch axe. So for instance, if I use my silk touch axe, I will get myself a coral block. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it went. It went, it went floaty floaty. Okay. Very good. But if you don't have silk touch, guess what happens to that coral? It turns into dead coral. Okay. Now, usually, dead coral only appears when the when the coral is actually left without water. But because I use a non-silk touch axe, we're going to get this coral, right? Because um, you got the dead coral. Let's see, is there anything I can give up that I don't really need? My inventory's gone, kinda. Yeah, I do. I can get rid of a, a um, fence post. There we go. So very cool. Also, another cool thing, especially if you want to do underwater stuff, sea pickles. Sea pickles actually emit light sources. Since I don't really have, why well, uh, do I have any room in here that I don't want to give up? I think I'm gonna keep everything, but I'm gonna mark this place on the map because I can come back here and I can harvest some coil, uh, some coral, some sea pickles, and I can actually make a farm to produce sea pickles. So that's not a, that's not a problem. But yes, this is like one of the last things I wanted to show you because not only not only can you find all these great things such as um, coral and fans for your decorations and stuff. The only thing you, one of the things you want to remember though, coral and coral fans, you do have to have underwater for them to keep the colors, otherwise it'll turn gray and die. But, and I'm hoping to see some here, you can also get yourself some tropical fish in this biome. So, um, none are spawning right now, but maybe we'll see some here in just a bit. Here we go, guys, a tropical fish. 
Now, I'm gonna show you how to get one of these. So basically, if you have a water bucket, go ahead and grab your water bucket. And what you can do is if you see a tropical fish you like, all you have to do is snag it with your water bucket, and now you have a tropical fish that you can put in a lot of different places. And this is where you find them. You find tropical fish in these warm water biomes. Hope you guys had some fun doing some ocean exploring. Those are some of the things you can find in the ocean. They can be a little bit early game if you want to jump into it early. It's not so bad. Just, you know, um, if, if you do it and without any um, enchanted armor, just be careful about breathing underwater. That's the thing you want to be careful of the most, guys. So, this is Kimmy Say, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. Hopefully this gives you, inspires you to go find something in the ocean, do some exploring, and have some fun. Bye-bye.